Hello friends, you are watching the second video in the Multiplication and Division series of stages 4 to 5. Previously we learned to multiply by 2, 5 and 10 and to skip count forwards in 3s. This video will help you to learn how to divide by 2, 5 and 10 and then to skip count backwards in patterns of 3. Let's start with dividing by 2. Here are 12 counters. If I wanted to give each of my friends two counters, how many friends will get a set each? Let's watch this model. One friend, two friends, three friends, four friends, five friends, six friends, and that's it. We have shared out all 12 counters, and all six friends have an equal set of two. Did you notice that the number of friends, six, is exactly half of the total number of counters, which is 12? That is why dividing by two can also be called halving. There are two in each hand, and we need six hands or groups. Now let's learn the division facts for 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 16 divided by 2 is 8, 18 divided by 2 is 9, and 20 divided by 2 is 10. Did you notice that there was no 0 divided by 2? That is because if I have no counters to start with, I cannot share any out. There was also no 1 divided by 2 as this would give you a half, or 0 0.5. At this stage, we are only working with whole numbers. OK, let's take a quick look at what happens when we divide by 5. Here are 20 counters. I would like to give each of my friends 5 counters. So can you work out how many of my friends will get counters? Let's take a look at our model. One friend, two friends, three friends, and four friends. And that's it. We have shared out all 20 counters, and all four friends have an equal set of five. That's five in each hand. That means we need four hands. Or four groups. Right, now let's look at the division facts for 5. Again you will notice that the first equation starts with a factor that matches the division fact that you're looking at. In this case it's 5. Right, here we go, so please join in. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 25 divided by 5 is 5. 30 divided by 5 is 6. 35 divided by 5 is 7. 40 divided by 5 is 8. 45 divided by 5 is 9. 50 divided by 5 is 10. Our final model shows what happens when we divide by 10. Here are my 20 counters again. If I wanted to give each friend 10 counters this time, can you guess how many friends will get counters? Let's see. One friend. Two friends. Did you guess two? When there are ten in each hand, 
you need two hands or two groups. Now, finally, let's take a look at the division facts for 10. Please join in. 10 divided by 10 is 1. 20 divided by 10 is 2. 30 divided by 10 is 3. 40 divided by 10 is 4. 50 divided by 10 is 5. 60 divided by 10 is 6. 70 divided by 10 is 7. 80 divided by 10 is 8. 90 divided by 10 is 9. And 100 divided by 10 is 10. Finally, let's take a look at the new piece of knowledge for this video. Skip counting backwards in a pattern of three. Count with me as these counters disappear in groups of three. We will start at 36. Here we go. 36. 33. 30. 27. 24. 21. 18, 15, 12, 9, 6, and 3, ending with 0. Review this video until you can recall the division facts for 2, 5, and 10, and feel confident about skip counting backwards in a pattern of 3. Next, you can move on to watching video 3 in this series, where you can learn how to use the strategy of repeated addition with materials when working out your multiplication. Bye for now.